there, um, yeah. yeah, and he it's all all that he dro- he drops down with a weight to the bottom of this big deep pool, and you can and he's all the air is gone out of his lungs, so he can stay on the bottom of the pool, and he's doing a cruise, a real mm-hmm. s- like a shark across yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. of the pool. And it's a, not only is it a great thing to watch; it's just relaxing to watch. It's a you can. Yeah, uh, he moves incredibly well. Yeah, yeah. and um, uh, yeah, I, uh, no one, not many people would know this. Would you agree? The, like what to, he does, or what you can do on your yeah. out breath. Oh, for sure. I think um, you know, for him and for people that do what they that what he does, you know, surfing bigger waves and all that sort of stuff. It happens a lot where you you lose the air from your lungs. You, mm. And if you've got a 20-foot wave on your head, you can't do anything about it. You can't come up. So you've got to learn to deal with that and get the body to to adapt to that experience. So many, many years ago, I worked with a, a freediving world champion and together we, we really, f- you know, he, he was one of the first to figure out that, you know what, whales and dolphins sometimes breathe out before they go underwater. Why do they do that? And we discovered that it really activates... What, what's called the, the dolphin mode or the seal mode that allows this reflex to occur in the brain called the mammalian dive reflex that then creates the ability to use oxygen other than the air that's in your lungs. So a bit like the Abyss movie, you know, you're getting rid of all the air, they put liquid oxygen in your lungs and you're using that. Well, we're going a little bit further than that. We're getting rid of that oxygen from your lungs and then going now, body, tap into the spleen. It's got a ton of O2 in hemoglobin cells inside of it, release that for us to use. Let's tap into myoglobin, muscle oxygen. Let's slow the heart rate. Let's drop brainwave pattern. And through training with people like Mick, we've learned that we can do that quite effectively and quite quickly because it's a natural phenomenon. The mammalian dive reflex is a human reflex because we are partly mammal. So we're being a bit like seals when we do the activity that you saw him do. We're just activating that system. You're a surfer. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it uh the 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 concept is crazy because you know those times when you fall off you take a breath or you're often like huh? mm. you know when you're like ah I'm eating shit here like huh? you know and your body just is breathing you know yeah. like you you you're you're actually going oh no this is not <laughs> like you're about to uh possibly hurt yourself and so you're I find myself going huh? you know Holding on for that that instant panic breath, though. Yeah. You know, so I guess for, for Mick, he's had so many... He's been in the water so much, he'd be in another level of thought. Of course. And then yeah. it's just training, too. Right. And that that gasping breath is probably the, one of the worst things that we can do because it just adds to the stress. You know, the <gasps> means that I'm breathing to the top of my chest, my, my heart's being constricted, and I want to get rid of the air because it doesn't feel comfortable, and, and I'm creating an internal stress by breathing in ineffectively. So we train them how to breathe in better. Wow, how would you get to this? <laughs> That's what I was about to say before I, I um, changed direction. Is that uh, here I am, you know, in in this this little this business I'm working in currently. What's that noise? Someone's grinding something. <laughs> it's never happened ever. One oh, of the neighbors is grinding. Yeah, watch me fire up. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, so I'm watching you online, and there's this great calming thing. You're sitting opposite me now, super calm and. And it's almost like, ah, damn, I wish I could keep that. Does, does anything... Uh, yeah, so your, where does it come from? Is that, oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. how do you maintain it? I guess because yeah. you're working at you, it's your, what you do. Yeah, I guess, you know, the big big thing for me in the background is, is martial arts. That, that was a big part of this whole journey and, and freediving. I was an avid freediver. Um, and then my partner and I came up with this breath enhancement training program for, for athletes and, and business people where collectively, we, you know, she was into... Uh, human movement, human biology, psychology. I was into more of the sports side of sports science, psychology, that kind of thing. And through our own practices, so martial arts, you're probably aware of, a tremendous place to learn about self-regulation, about what then helps you to self-regulate in a very stressful situation like a fight. So a lot of it's come from that. A lot of it's come from being able to self-regulate, going into the ring, fighting against people, etc., where you have to stay calm because... When you get stressed, your finer motor skill disappears and your ability to block and move effectively is <laughs> destroyed. So a lot of it's come from that and then testing it. I'm an avid tester of what I teach. Wow. So hey, I test What, what martial art? Kung fu. Kung fu. Yeah. So uh, is that Chinese? Chinese, yeah. yeah. And do they have – I know I did a little bit of karate. They, 
um, is there is it similar? You know, in karate class you have your no, quite different yeah. to karate. I did karate when I was very young too. It's it's more uh, more of a uh, an internal art. Not that karate isn't, um, but it's it's less uh, intensive on the body. So that, so it's more about not fighting force against force. Right. Karate has a bit more. You know, block with real strength and power, and, right. and kung fu is more redirect force. Okay. So you have to stay calm to be able to allow those subtle movements to happen. Okay. Oh, like the uh, yeah. Okay, one, that's one of the YouTube videos. Mick Fanning uh, was throwing. Was it you? Oh, I mean, I mean, Phil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it was much of a redirection. That's right. Definitely not yeah. a punch in the face. It was more like a fall and and yeah, he flowed you onto Hack and, and then throwing us onto the ground onto the, okay. onto a crash mat. Yeah. So. Yeah, just redirecting energy and using the whole body to create tremendous power. Do they have cutters and things like that? Yeah, forms. Forms, okay. Forms, yeah. Is it in similar in that way? Similar oh, in that, yes. I got like bored with karate for that reason. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it was very much teacher and class. Um, bored's the wrong word. I, I found well, a I way finished. out and then once I was out, I was like, oh, geez, do I want to go back to... Yeah, yeah. I get, didn't get that far into it to yeah. get hooked. Yeah, you know, in Kung Fu too, we've, we've got, I guess, just different forms that are a bit more ex- sort of um, internal again. Just trying to – once you get the concept, okay. you get addicted because it's so – you know, you start to, to feel energy move through your body and we've got a wooden dummy that we play with which doesn't hit back but it's a great way to sharpen your technique and uh, left-right brain stuff all the time. You know, pretty cool. Right. Where, where did you – did you have a – Go to one of these classes on the coast, or no? I started that years and years ago. Um, uh, Middle East. I lived there for a while. For real? What? What yeah. town? What? Oman was the yeah. What, yeah, near, that, near Dubai. Okay. I was um, I was a scuba instructor. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> did you lose anyone? <laughs> uh, no, I never did. Luckily, no. Yeah, yeah. They uh, do that in cans all the time. I it know. seems. <laughs> yeah. Every time I turn, I never turn on the news, but every time I do, jeez. Oh, what are they doing in Cairns? Yeah, yeah. No, we were oh, where we lived there. It was an amazing uh, part of the world where the where the ocean's pretty flat. Um, you know, lots of lots of sea life because there isn't commercial fi- fishing as such. Right. So, you know, you, you go to a dive site. It's amazing. You don't want to drift away because it's so good where you are. So it was pretty easy. Yeah. To what kind of people. depth there? Oh, just normal. You know, up to sort of forty meters. Right, so the, is that where free diving started to come in? Yeah, yeah, okay. pretty much. Yeah, I, I, I got into free diving when I was about twelve um, through a friend of my dad's, and and um, yeah, by the time I was sixteen, I was doing some pretty crazy stuff. It was when that movie, The Big Blue, came out. Yep, uh, that's a long time ago. Yeah. But we really followed that and pushed pushed limits and discovered a lot about ourselves and yeah. what it meant to um, feel that you're you're passing out underwater, that kind of stuff. But we never did, which was pretty pretty lucky, but. We really pushed limits and discovered a lot about how the body works. Yeah, where do you? Uh, where's a good place to free dive on the Gold Coast? Oh, gee, there's um, Cook Island's probably Cook Island and Julian Rocks down at Byron is um, probably sharky. the best. Yeah, a bit sharky. yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you you, right. you know you, you could come across a few, but I think if you again just yeah. stay calm and where's, where's Cook Island? Cook Island Which just one? off. Uh, just, just Fingal? south. Is that the one? Yeah, Fingal. Okay. Yeah. That one, right. Yeah, there's some good shallow spots, good deep spots. Okay. Is that with, um, I'm going to ask all the silly questions, is that with the big flippers? Is yeah, yeah, you can use them. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you just get a bit more power out of that. Okay, so with free diving, yeah, it's all about keeping that, you want to keep... Heart rate low. Right, so you're yeah. cruising through, you're one of the yes. animals and... Exactly. Trying to, trying to blend in with the environment. Let the environment assist you, not stress you. What about... Um, uh, what do they get in uh, scuba? The bends. Does the that bends. Ever, can that happen in? Oh, look, some of the guys that are free diving now are going down, you know, almost three hundred meters, um, with, with a sled. So they're getting pulled down and then hit a airbag and get pulled back up. So they are some of them. I think one of the world record holders did get the bends because of going so deep. Right. Um, but pretty rare that a free diver will get the bends because right. you're just not deep enough for long enough. Okay. But when you go to 300 metres... Right, so... That's just ridiculous. Oh, crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Now, do you ever, have you ever had... What stresses you out? <laughs> do you get... That's what I was getting at before, you know? I can... Uh, yeah, I get what, stressed out on a day. I think it's like a... 
you know, businessy things and, and or, or deadlines. Deadlines is what yeah. what drives me crazy. I always want to do if you were to come into that too, I've got to be in there too. Bang, 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 and I'll create all these uh, things <laughs> in my mind. Yeah. But when I was training a lot, it didn't seem to be a problem at all. Like a Yeah. You know, I, like my mate I've had on here, Odell Harris, his jiu jitsu uh yeah. sensei tells me all the time, man, get in the gym. Like it's Yeah, it's amazing. As a man as a man or you know, or woman, whatever. You to get that dog out of you, yeah. You know, early in the morning, I mm. always, always do, I always paddle and surf. But I think yeah. I feel like I need to do more at the moment. Yeah, well, you know, it's all it's the the emotions that you go through when you're getting stressed for a deadline is chemistry, and when you exercise, you burn that up. You produce better chemicals that then keep your brain more stable, and you're oxygenating a lot. So that all helps when it comes to pressure, and I think it's all just keeping things relative. You know. Not allowing your your brain to run off with a story that is incongruent with what you're actually going through. You know, making not making mole mountains out of molehills. Just you know, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. Just just keep keep centered. So, what stresses me? Um, I guess uh, sometimes people. <laughs> But I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I like to get stressed from time to time because I, I love to test my techniques. Do they work? Can I get out of stress quickly? And um, Getting sick. I don't like getting sick. Not I really do. Maybe once every five years. Um, yeah, not much. <laughs> not much. So did you um, – we'll get back to Mick Fanning and, and Steph Gilmore. Did yeah, you change yeah. it as well? In a bit, but uh, – Oh, what was I going to ask you? Um, oh. It's gone. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, did you fight in uh, Kung Fu? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, I did do a, quite a few tournaments and um, nothing uh, crazy like the MMA guys do now yeah. um, in terms of that full contact and, and, and so on. I, I did have a, a, a couple of fights in the street <laughs> that I'm not proud of. But anyway, that, right. that, that happened a fair bit. And then the school, well, the the the... The master I worked under, he he was all about realism and being realistic. So we we did have very intensive sparring sessions. We were you know padded up and and I sparred with with um, Nathan Corbett for a while too. That was really Nathan awesome. Nathan Corbett, uh, what's Carnage. his fight name? Carnage Corbett. Yeah, yeah. He's a heavyweight, is he not? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, I think I've seen him. Did he do boxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Touched I on think that. we saw a fight. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Is he retired? He's, he's retired, yeah. I think he's 12 times world champ, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the wrong guy. I'm thinking, uh, the other Briggs. Oh, know. Paul Briggs, yeah. Yeah. Yep, he, we Briggs. saw him fight about a year and a half. Yeah. yeah okay. Briggs. Wow. Yeah, so it was always intensive, and that that was because, well, it's got to be realistic. Right. So we train hard. In, in Kung Fu. And I want to watch Kung Fu. I couldn't even imagine what the sparring is like, you know. Oh, look, it's not much different to, to any kind of sparring other than there might be a bit more technique involved. Right. Um, you know, I don't think fighting's particularly pretty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it shouldn't be really. It's, you know, in and out sort of stuff. Get the job done. Right. If, if, you know, in terms of the situation. But Well, could you show me now? Because I know the... the I'll put it this way, do, punch in the bag so much in boxing style. Yeah. My mate came over the other day and uh, he hasn't had karate for a million years, but he, his style of punch, I went, oh, yeah, you're, you're a karate guy. You oh, know, when they twist and... Twist and, and yeah, yeah. you know, on the knuckle there. Yeah. And it looked really strange. <laughs> you know, it looked ineffective uh, for someone to come along to the, the punching bag in my backyard. Yeah. Go, oh, man, I, you know... Could have counted you straight away for yeah, a start yeah, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. blah. Yeah, what, yeah. What's, a, what's a... With Kung Fu? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mul- multitude. A... So there's, 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 it's not just punching. There's palm strikes. There's elbows. There's pa- you know, all sorts of different ways that we use. Are oh, you still trained now? Yeah, yeah. Still trained. Oh, I suppose your gym. What do you, what's this? I train at home. I've okay. got a yeah, got set up at home. Um, and then I teach a couple of people still too. But it's... it's uh, chain punching is a, is a big part of Kung Fu where... Um, or, or palm striking where it's fast, furious, you know, you're up to seven punches in a second, wow. just trying to get that happening in an attack and then um, and then using pressure points and so on to, to disable people okay. should should it get to that level. Right. Yeah, pretty powerful. So um, uh, did you know the, uh, the surfing world 
you know, the elite surfing characters like Mick Fanning and Steph Gilmore before you started training them or did they Yeah, yeah, come for to sure. Yeah. yeah, I did. Um, you know, I 